Hello and welcome to Open Wonder. I think this is now one of my favorite maps. I've never played it, but I've casted one game on it. Um, it's very new. Whoever made it, big thank you. We need maps like this. Pretty exciting, although it's so big that it kind of makes my head spin. Uh, looking at the players here. Oh yeah, of course, another thing I want to mention and I want to hear people's opinion is I have no idea if this uh, replay desyncs. And if I get, say, 30 minutes into the game and it desyncs in the last 10 minutes, I'm still going to upload it and maybe have the players from the game make any corrections. So if there's good action for this 30 minutes, it's a shame to throw that away. This may even be longer than 30 minutes. I have no idea. Um, but, yeah, definitely want to hear people's opinions. Alex is a player from my clan, Voice of Reason, the greatest clan ever. I guess. Haven't really had a chance to participate in it. Because I've uh, been busy for different reasons. For example, casting. Um, which I think is, is actually kind of fun. Legend Lord. This is one of my uh, favorite players. Because uh, my memories from 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014, 2008, 2007. Seven. They include Legend Lord. I don't remember 2007. I can't remember that far back. But probably he was there, and he's been in team games. Probably more team games than any other player in history of this game. Uh, big thanks to him. He does have this clan, TGX. Um, if I wasn't in Voice of Reason, I would join TGX if they were active. Many really cool players in there. Yeah, definitely the best team clan. Uh, the people you can actually play the game with. They try to make even teams, which I think is one of the greatest things you can have in a clan. You have a group of people who are willing to play with even teams, have good hosts. Those are, if you think about it, the most important people in the community are the people hosting the games. So you got to take care of those people. And you got to, if you're a host, you got a responsibility to kick people and uh, organize things. You need organizers. Cause, yeah, why do I keep bitching all the time? Jeez. All right. So, uh, another player I want to point out here. <laughs> I think uh, there's a lot of lag in this game. We'll see how it progresses. Blackheart has Aeon in the middle next to Artifacts. They're going to be taking on Legend Lord and Harry Potter, who is actually Bludger. Incidentally, God, why do I keep saying incidentally? I apologize. I want to never say that word again. Um, yeah, I'm just substitute. Bloodair uh, is the champion of Aeon. Uh, there was four tourneys that Mozart set up, which were the biggest tourneys in the last few months, which were pretty awesome. I got third in the Seraphim. It's my proudest achievement over the last few months uh, in this part of my life. And uh, actually, here, yeah, this is important. Uh, Chico. Chico is naked. He's loco. Chico, what are you doing, dude? He's a good dancer. And his manta, I don't want to help him. Alright, so we're going to see a first victim. Chico, 12 kills, taking on WSL. This Seraphim, maybe a little help. <laughs> if I was Harry Potter, I'd say, okay, I'm going to get out of there. I don't want my units to get destroyed. Oh man, five minutes in. Chico, are you gonna desync? You are the first contestants in the desync game. Will you desync the game? Uh, Alex. Yeah. People should def. I'm gonna put Alex's uh, channel link, his Twitch channel, in the description of all of my videos. I think I'll put Petrich. And uh, as I'm talking, we got VF on UEF, Lanolus, and uh, Let Me Kang. Uh, Kangles. T2 Engineering versus Gun. He's also receiving some help from Legend Lord. It appears the black card has been left all along. But I think I'll put in a couple Twitch channels in the descriptions. As we see early air, I think there might be more. Alex, can you pull off the micro? He doesn't have the numbers. Melon, I have no idea who he is. Somebody smart, pretty good uh, rating. But he is winning air. Not surprisingly, it's Aeon on Aeon. Petrich is low. And uh, Alex, I think those are the three most active Twitch casters. And if you're looking for American time, late nights, 
it's definitely Olex, and I think Olex has some of the, uh, the best, uh, like, multi-person casts. You get, definitely check that out. I, of all the different channels, that's probably the one I, I've interacted the most with. Uh, and hopefully that can grow. And it's, it's like late night uh, FAF with Olex. Almost every single day when I check, which is great. Although I think he might be going back to school, so I have no idea how much time he'll have. That's Harry Potter together with WSL Bloodier. Player from Finland. And uh, what is it about Finland and having so many good players? I think uh, if you divide population by number of good players, like Finland would probably be at the top. The total good players would probably definitely be Germany. Russia has quite a few, but of course population is also large. But if you compare Finland versus Russian players, uh, it's very similar numbers actually. Um, and the United States is just when you normalize by volume, low concentration, low density, which is completely reflected in your temporal evolution of the FAF population. So much. Um, Reclaim now after this battle up on top. Do you see any stabilization between Battle and Lanalus versus Let Me Kangles? Lanalus definitely win advantage. Uh, gotta say Lanalus, probably the top player on the right side. It's either him, Blur, or GGX. But he's really one of those players who carries the team. So far, I think he's getting the better of Let Me Kangles. You can see some swift points from Alex. And this is a pretty cool battle. I mean, I would need like triple screen here to split among all the different battles. I don't know, I want to experiment. Have one side be zoomed out. And then I just focus in. So I'm right handed. For me, the right side is the future. Yeah, I'm going to zoom this one out. I'm going to work with the left. I'm going to work in the past. Harry Potter 41 kills with the gun. Gunships from Alex doing some harassment. It appears that Artifacts has been able to recover Chico's base, at least uh, partly. He is getting a little help from Blackheart. And Swiftwinds taking care of business for Alex. If you look at the economies between the two back players, Melon is slightly ahead on power. So actually significantly ahead. These are good looking T2PDs from Artifacts, but there is some T2 mobile missile launchers. There are, if you use proper English. And it looks like a good looking Tech 1 Assault from Artifacts and Blackheart. They're pushing uh, WSL back. It's pretty much offensive. There, is, there aren't too many defensive structures in this position. And this is the teamwork. This is a great teamwork. Helping your ally out. Swift winds and uh, given that both uh, back players are A on the stick to stage, you gotta be wary of Mercies. See scouting from Melanus. Definitely looking for Mercies. He's gonna see Swift winds and Alex getting his first resource allocation. Alex needs power. He wants dumping. He's killing his eco. As a uh, wow, horse. The white horse with the black heart is moving up. Oh, it looks like, uh, is this an AC? No, these are just mobile missile launchers. Taking down a TMD. Uh, this is looks like a double gunned ACU from black heart. That's a very fragile unit. And if you're the player with one of the best ecos, I wouldn't uh, do that with my AC. You probably want to send it back and get research allocation. Oh, wow. This is uh, why people don't like to help their allies. Because you can see, it would be really nice for Bloodier to have these point defenses in his base. Instead, he's protecting an ally's base. And uh, Blackheart, I gotta give it to Artifacts. I think taking on two players, he's really allowed Blackheart to do whatever he wants. And Blackheart hasn't just been taking, he's also been uh, assaulting. Although Blackheart probably should help. I mean, he has been, he has been helping multiple TTPDs uh, for Kangles. Because Lanalus. Significantly ahead in eco. 
as we're gonna see a counter attack from WSL on the left side and uh, Harry Potter's back home he's got 81 kills and he's killing all the enemies inside his base it's gonna be good reclaim Tech 1 bombers from uh, Blackheart is that Tech 3 air? We, we're seeing Tech 3 air dual RAS from Melon he's got Tech 3 engineer he's gonna start spamming Tech 3 power Alex is actually at the exact same place He's just slightly behind on his tech factory, but in terms of eco, very similar. We'll see how far this counterattack gets. Still a lot of reclaim. Let's check out the reclamation numbers. 5,500 for WSL. The lowest though. Him and uh, Kangles. 5,000. I'm assuming it's a heat. Although there are quite a few uh, girls, I guess, who play this as well. 93. For Harry Potter. I just never get my wife to play this uh, well. can't have everything that you want Kangles 1 and TMD yeah 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 you gotta beg your allies to make TMD for you and if you're Aeon you probably want to ask Seraphim or Cyber to make TMD for you but, and a little more effective than the yeah as a good looking team, uh, MMLs have been pushing Kangles back, really overwhelming him. And uh, I think we have a very even battle, except now Legend Lord really uh, putting a lot of pressure on Blackheart, who is. What is he doing? He's getting something. But uh, Blackheart's base here getting ran over. He lost Raider, he might lose some. Take two mask extractors and not a lot of defense at all. They see mercies from Melon Legend Lord. Please don't die. And we're seeing an air fight that Alex is losing. Oh, oh nice land versus mercies. Those mercies were landed. They got shot. Take a little bit of luck there for Legend, although he's putting up thick one uh, flak. This is a very effective, much more effective than uh, Tech Two flak against mercies. Some more mercies uh, thrown away. Legend Lord. In any games, I'm always rooting for you, so please don't. Don't get killed by mercies. So much reclaim. That's actually been cleaned up quite nicely by WSL with a, still a very large Tech 1 force. So the bottom side has been producing Tech 1 non stop. They haven't really switched to Tech 2. As we're seeing. These mobile missile launchers from Lanolus have been very nice. Continue to push. Let me can Kangles. Why did he choose this name? I don't understand. Let me Kangles. Maybe I'm slow. Maybe it means something. As uh, Legend Lord is going to get a shield. Oh wow, Legend Lord dominated against Blackheart. I'm well, not in uh, Eco, but these these Ilshulas have been quite deadly. You can see help from artifacts. Force has rapid fire. Are we gonna see mercies? We see restorers. Okay, legend, you gotta you gotta retreat. You don't you don't you're not getting the help that you need. You do have a shield and tech to flak there, but that's not gonna last. Alex comes in. Tech three on tech three. Legend losing health here pretty rapidly. Is he gonna get help from somebody? Alex losing all of his air. Oh man. Legend. 39 kills. Hmm, a bit overextended. Unfortunate. But that was a big push from two different players. I think this is the opportunity for uh, artifacts. Uh, sorry, for WSL to push in. Because that was a perfect time. When they're attacking TJ, that's when you should have moved in. Because these units. They're color of wine, and, but they're not going to get better with time. Alex, I uh, thought he would do a little better. He is, actually, Alex is one of the better uh, air players we have on FAF currently. Yeah, he did. I uh, hurt him a little bit, but not enough. Artifacts with the uh, ACU missile launcher, which is a big pain in the ass against the EF. Blood Dirt, since he made that video, is also one of my favorite players. Um, it's a nice remix. I think it was uh, vastly superior to Pachuricos, but 
course. That's just my personal opinion. Um, yeah, see how many Tech 3 mask extractors from Olex. Looks like the Ecos are actually quite similar, just the numbers of ASF are much bigger for Melon, who's also got Resties. Lanalus is going to get Tech 3 on his ACU. And then perhaps some Tech 3 PDs in this position. And what we've seen is really good uh, team play from the top side. They've really helped each other at all moments. The only person they couldn't help was uh, Chico, who was just, uh, he was just a dancer. Danced himself to a death within five minutes, in the first five minutes. Kangles with the gun, 14 kills. Let's see what uh, the back players are going to do. Melon surprisingly making tech 3 I don't think in his position needs to do that. So one of these is about 800 mass. Let's actually check what that is. Um, yep, 800 mass. And uh, how much is an ASF? 350. These used to be 500 a long time ago. Now they're 350. So ASF is actually not that expensive. Except in power. The concept that will be lost to any planetary annihilation player. Let's see how well that game goes. And uh, of course, the greatest thing about planetary annihilation is that we do have our agent on the inside. David X has been taking over that community, waiting for a perfect time to uh, take them all over to FAF. He just needs to let it grow a little bit, and I, I have full confidence in that agent. As you are seeing artifacts in Blackheart, I think they're going to run over this base. Oh yeah, some support units from Lanos have been given, given over to Blood here. This is TGX old base. Big thanks to TGX for not desyncing the game. Yep. And it looks like uh, Lanalus is now going to push through. So now we're coming up minute 20. This is the time for big strat bombing runs and experimentals that are probably around the corner. We haven't seen too much tech 3 yet. We see mostly EF players. So Percy is probably going to make uh, an appearance soon. Wow, that's a an expensive upgrade. I think he's getting a resource allocation. <laughs> the Ravager just spraying wildly. Yeah. This is gonna hang out over here for a little while. Yeah, look at that shield. We'll have to be the gunner for one of these things, it'd be so fun. Alright. Probably get hit in the head by one of those shells. Probably heat up a little bit. SF from Alex, who has got the exact same power as Melon. Let's actually check out the air numbers for these two players. Alex at 44, Melon 33, so, and 5 resties. Fairly even. As we see how. Yeah, T3PD creep from Laneless. Only thing he's afraid of is uh, an experimental for Tech 3 sniper bots from Seraph. We could probably do something, but I don't see any of those. As this battle has just been going non stop for 20 minutes. I don't think they like each other too much. The Artifacts has done a great job. Deck 3 land, Titans. Titans from Harry Potter. I can't say I completely agree with it, but they're going to be out there. I think a couple Percy's would be better. Percy's in this situation have the range. I think here when the Titans gets close, you see it's, it's, it's actually rather weak. The Titans is Ilsha's bitch. Oh man. Is that a Deck 3 unit? It's, it's a tech 3 unit as the hoplite is a tech 2 unit. It's really the, the bottom of the barrel. Some Harveys moving in. These Harveys are pretty good, but they're taking on tech 1 PDs. And what is this? It's out of the middle of nowhere. Let's see how the tech 3 PD creep continues. 
And Blackheart coming out. Oh, this is a great unit. Absolvers. If you use an Absolver, you're awesome. Check out what this unit does. You got massive range and just basically dissolves shields. Specifically anti-shield units. As long as it doesn't shoot regular units. Then it's pretty pathetic. That BSL really getting pushed back by artifacts. And some scouting from Melon. As we're seeing Blackheart really break through. This hole that was left by uh, TGX is really a weak spot. And you can see how... Yeah, these T3PDs though, they're quite powerful. So that's a nice stream of Harbies from Blackheart. Blackheart attempting to pull away. See, Let Me Kangles is kind of a... He's an observer in this situation. This is Lanelis versus Blackheart. Lanelis has got to be very careful though. But a good good selection of units from Aeon at the Tech-3 stage. They, they basically make these shields. Yeah. Whatever is your favorite adjective for impotent or ineffective. Artifacts being crazy. For his uh, defense, he does have a missile launcher. Just trying to get closer, trying to get a look. If you were to snap a couple of these T3 pigeons, it'd look good. As we're seeing the Harveys just roll through. Yeah, this is uh, Legend Lord's old base. Strat bombers from Olex. This might precipitate an SF battle. Let's quickly check out the numbers again. 85. No response yet. 81. So Melon catching up. A lot of mass in the bank for Melon as well. Legend Lord's old base getting wiped out. Melon uh, sends in a couple ASF to target the strat. They'll take care of it. Yeah, this is a bad situation. I think these Harveys are going to get all the way to Alex base. WSL retreats to Alex base. Yeah, Lanelis trying to do a Tech 3 PD creep to seal the wound. A good looking play from Blackheart realizing the opportunity and taking it. It's really oh Harry Potter. Oh no, don't die. Do some overcharges. Can you not overcharge? There's an overcharge, one more. You can kill those in one shot. Nice. Oh shit, he's dead. Well the two metal players have died have died. It's very sad. Very sad. I think uh, Blackheart has showed us the strength of Harveys. They have a really high speed. So you get a lot of them suddenly. This is a support commander. Support commander's from Olex. He's got a lot of uh, free reclaim in front of him. And uh, he's gonna have to fight for it against Tech 2 Seraphim and Tech 3 Aeon. But he does have the tools to do it. Love to see him pull out a GC in this situation. Or maybe just go straight restores. There isn't too much tech to flag here. Their stores would also provide him a degree of anti air. As Lanelis will try to establish a base. If you can get a tech 3 base, he'll be great. Of course, uh, WSL's base is also. Yeah, not that good. He's got a couple tech 3 mask structures, but there's not much defense here. Still the tech 2 stage. And uh, GC from Melon. I think we all know where this is going. Lots of PDs from Olex. In order for the bottom side to make it back, there need to be a lot of mistakes. This GC needs to die somehow. Olex needs to win air. And the bottom side needs to take over the middle and get a lot of reclaim. And uh, given that that JC has the support of many Harbies, Lanelis soon, this is not going to happen. And here is a desync. Desync at the very end, that's alright. So I think I'll upload this one. It's a nice 30 minute game showing off this map that people should definitely play. And I'm just going to do this because it feels good. Yes.